What's going on everybody, I am the Bad Duck and you are the internet. Welcome back to another video today. We are talking about the 2024 Royal Rumble. This is where I started doing WWE content for this channel. It was a little bit before this. I, I did a video basically saying I went to my first Raw. I was like, kind of like, hey, maybe I'll do this stuff with WWE. But this prediction, the 2023 Royal Rumble was my first ever prediction video. And it's what started me getting in love with WWE more or less and then just being engulfed in it really i'm so excited to be back here this year talking about the 2024 royal rumble let's get right into the card i'm super excited to talk about it it's one of my favorite events of, of the year and it's generally the most exciting point we've had in the last few months in the wwe universe starting with the united states championship match with logan paul versus kevin owens kevin owens is in my mind the modern mr royal rumble he hasn't been in many royal rumbles to my knowledge but he's always competing for a championship match during this time of year and it's honestly quite impressive when you think about it you know he's facing logan paul who is this outsider looking in when it comes to a lot of you fans minds and he's currently united States champion after winning against Rey mysterio back in crown jewel and honestly this lead up has been almost perfect the logan paul has been on smackdown plenty enough to establish a good feud and honestly they have the mo most perfect back and forth logan paul is the antithesis to kevin owens in all reality kevin owens is this guy who's been working his ass off all this time and he he's made wwe his home he this is his thing this is the thing he's worked for all his life and then you have logan paul on the other side of things who entered because he's famous back in 2022 and has started to make a name for himself started to work his ass off for the WWE and it's a perfect matchup really and I plenty of credit goes to trips for this and honestly I don't see going in the way besides Logan Paul continuing on his reign as much as I would love Kevin Owens to have another belt ring I don't think it's here or now I think it's later down the road this year I just don't believe that Logan Paul drops it until Mania and I believe that Mania match will come against LA Knight and we'll talk about that we'll talk about LA Knight in just a minute but yeah I think Kevin Owens uh, loses it here, sadly. I want him to win, but he's not going to. Moving on into the Women's Royal Rumble match, coming off the heels of one of the best Royal Rumbles, in my opinion, with Rhea Ripley winning in the 2023 Royal Rumble. There's a lot of storylines going on here. There's a lot of mystery, really, um, especially with the most recent shakeup of with the Sports Illustrated article and what's going on in the mind of Travis, especially with the, there's so many moving pieces with like Liv Morgan being arrested, you have Becky Lynch, who is at, starting to hit the tail end of her career, maybe, I don't know, Charlotte's out. Uh, we have still have a bunch of people who are possibly available to come back for the Royal Rumble, including Sonya Deville, Dakota Kai. There, there's so many variables right now that make this Women's Royal Rumble so interesting. And we have four competitors announced, and I, I love that. I love that we only have a few competitors announced, because that's so... Those four faces, Nia Jax, Becky Lynch, Bailey, and Bianca Belair, sell tickets that's what you need to do right now is to sell tickets and that's perfectly fine with me i just don't want you have the whole fucking wo woman's row one announced that they did basically last year I, I there's so many different ways and so fill the mystery i love it um that being said i believe in my heart of hearts that this is still bailey's win i love Liv morgan i think that she'll eventually get her shot against Rhea whipley i for sure think that but the fact of the matter is that that's an uncertainty with her legal issues currently going on. And, but Bailey has a storyline going on, and especially if Kari Sane's going to be in the Rumble, which she likely is going to be. You have uh, Asuka, who's definitely going to be in the Rumble. You can't leave her out um, as the first woman to win the World Rumble. You have Dakota Kai potentially coming back in the World Rumble. And I think if Dakota Kai comes back, it's definitely Bailey to win because that, that cements damage control turning on. Bailey, and that, that's I said this back at, at, during the Survivor Series predictions. I do believe that they're slowly moving towards a turn from damage control onto Bailey and not the other way around. But they could be. I mean, it depends really what they want to go with in the Royal Rumble. It's still where Bailey could turn on them after she realizes that Rhea is too much. It, it, it can happen. But there's so many people that are in perfect spots to win the Royal Rumble, especially on the women's side. Like Becky Lynch potentially being the first two-time winner in the women's Royal rumble people want bianca but Be and i can't i can't blame them um to be the first two-time winner um there's Liv morgan who has the history with Rhea ripley like i said plenty more you can build up someone on the mid-card side of things to be the Royal rumble winner to face against someone in wrestlemania like Rhea ripley was where she was kind of like in that mid-card area who hadn't really cemented herself fully into the uh the main event of any show she was really on um but yeah, I, 
Bailey wins this. I, I don't see any other way currently. I don't feel confident in any other way going besides Bailey winning in the Royal Rumble. Moving on into the Men's Royal Rumble. Again, a lot more moving pieces. The Sports Illustrated article throws a lot of wrenches into this. They, they're saying that it's CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania, not Roman versus Cody again. Um, it's Rock and, and Rock and Roman instead of Cody and Roman. It's Seth versus Gunther. So there's a plenty of people who could win the Rumble, and that leads to Rock or Gunther with, if you follow the Sports Illustrated article. But I don't. I don't follow that. But I do not believe with Cody Rhodes. As many people want to think that he's going to be a back-to-back -back winner, I don't think you can do that with this baby face. We had Super Cena for so long. People didn't like Super Cena, and you can't stop start a Super Cena run right now when Cody's still pretty fresh in the WWE, only being back for about a year and a half now. You might fucking kill his 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 momentum and how hot he's been in the last few years. That being said, who is going to be the men's world Rumble? Winner. There's a bunch of storylines again going on. I love that Trips is putting storylines on top of storylines into the Royal Rumble, and I love that. I think that's great. You're gonna have Sammy likely gonna be in there. You're gonna have Drew. You're gonna have Jay. You're gonna have probably J Jimmy show up there somehow. Uh, Solo is likely to pop up. I'm guessing, um, and that can that sets a lot of like when it comes into is Sammy gonna side with Drew? Is he gonna side with Jay? What, what's gonna ha happen? Like the is it gonna be like? Are they going to work together at one point? Are they on the same side of the coin, but on different portions of it? I don't know. Um, but I love how many storylines they have now. Now the CM Punk Cody Rhodes storyline going on, where they're they're fighting to be <laughs> to finish their story first. And who is going to finish it first? Is the guy who's been working his ass off every day since he uh, arrived back at WrestleMania 38, um, who's had a match of the year candidate back in 2022 in the Hell in a Cell? Uh, who knows? Or is it the guy who just returned? Back in WWE, in the last pay-per-view, and has kind of walked onto those golden carpet of opportunities for him. Is it going to be him? Who knows? But honestly, in the most confidence I have in the Royal Rumble winner here is CM Punk winning the Royal Rumble. I talked about this in my last video. Like I said, I, this is the most confidence I have in him because I still believe the 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 plan is Punk versus Seth. I think that's the storyline. I think that's the part. You can't give that up. You cannot give up that opportunity. I don't believe that Punk is going to go into the chamber and win the chamber. I think that's Cody's opportunity to get hit to face Roman once again because they, they've been setting that up from last year that Cody and Roman are having a face off and it's going to be probably at WrestleMania because you can't have it anywhere else. You cannot have Roman potentially drop a belt anywhere else besides WrestleMania. Yeah, I, I think Punk, the Punk's way to get his main event opportunity is against Seth in night one. If Seth is fully ready to go back um, to fight at night one, uh, I really hope he is. And he's saying that he his match his first match back shouldn't be at WrestleMania. So um, he says he, he wants a one month turnaround, which I think is insane. I, I, I want you to, Seth, I love you. I want you to be safe. I want you to be healthy. I'd rather you be healthy and safe than force yourself to come back but you know what charlotte flitter has turned to fucking super cena like actual super cena <laughs> over the last few days um working the knee so and she's her knee exploded and your yours is like half that so who knows but that leads into the final final event we only have four events happening which is a little bit odd last year we had five uh but this year we have a little bit less but which either it's gonna be a longer rumble they're gonna put more um a lot more time to the roman match or they're gonna give logan and kevin plenty of time to cook and i know what all those signs lead to positive things happening um but the last match is the Fatal 4-Way, the thing that Nick Aldis has set up to fuck over Roman Reigns in the end. Roman Reigns versus AJ, the phenomenal AJ Styles versus, versus the megastar LA Knight. And then finally the Viper, Randy Orton. And dude, if you put one-on-one -on -one Roman versus any of these guys, you have a banger of a match. LA Knight showed that at Crown, at Crown Jewel, so if you're saying that Oh, and it's not good in the ring. I understand, but he put on a banger of moment. That was probably the second best match on the night, and that's just because Seth and Drew were just so fucking good. But yeah, so Fatal 4-Way in the Royal Rumble, probably in the main event. Who's going to win? I said earlier that you can't have Roman drop anywhere besides WrestleMania, but if you really want to have Rock, you really want to put it up there that like people won't just be like, oh, Roman's just going to retain or whatever. You got to give it to someone else. A lot of people are suggesting that Randy faces Cody at Mania because Roman's not part of that story really. He's just the guy who has the WWE Championship. That's what 
um, Cody needs. He needs that WWE Championship that I have behind me around his belt. It doesn't matter who it is. And you have AJ Styles, who's he's in prime shape to go on another run, to have another solid championship run. And you have Ellie Knight, who is a, a, a he's boomed over the last year, who's exploded in popularity, who is still on the top of the t-shirt the t-shirts charts nearly a year after he uh, started his journey with Bray Wyatt, rest in peace, uh, at the Royal Rumble last year. It, it's there's so many storylines and there's so many possibilities that happen here. There's so many things that can happen. And you have the three best people to go against Robin in the same match, which is insanity. It's insanity. And I love it. I love this booking. I think it's the best booking we could have for this match. But really, like I said earlier, Roman has to drop a Mania. There's no other option. You cannot have him drop at a SummerSlam or a Rumble or Survivor Series. You can't have him drop anywhere besides the biggest show of them all, and that being WrestleMania, and he's carrying after this. He, he's he's holding inside the belt. I love. I, I would love to see him drop it. It'd be a shock for. It'd be the biggest shock we've had in such a long time. Um, but I don't see it. I th honestly, I think you could see a triple stack like he did the tri double stack with Brian Dennison and Edge uh, back in 2020. Yeah, 2020. I want to say. Um, yeah, he's carrying this championship all the way until at least Mania. Um, so, when we talk about Elimination Chamber, if Roman somehow gets booked, even though he says he's not working that night, um, you know my prediction. Tell me what you guys think. Who's going to win each and every match? Who do you think is going to be our Royal Rumble winners for 2024? And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, and, um, bye bye